I wanted to make a video today about a topic that I get a lot of questions on whenever I tell someone that I'm vegan. So a lot of times people will say things like, isn't it natural to eat meat? Like, didn't we evolve eating it? And don't we know from hunter-gatherer populations that that's what we evolved doing and therefore it's natural? How could something that's natural be bad for us? Well, this is a, an appeal to nature fallacy, which assumes that because something is natural that it's good. But beyond that, I do like to indulge this question because I think there is a good answer to this. And it has to do with the difference between surviving and thriving. So let me ask you a question. Do you eat Twinkies? You might not at all, or you might have them every once in a while. I doubt any of you are eating Twinkies every single day, right? You're certainly not eating an all Twinkie diet. Well, imagine this. If you were stuck on a remote island, washed ashore, you know, nothing to eat, and all of a sudden one day a crate full of Twinkies washes up on shore. Are you gonna eat those Twinkies or are you gonna say, eh, it's kind of a junk food. I don't really eat that. Uh, let me see what else washes up. Of course, you're gonna go nuts and you're gonna eat Twinkies until you're stuffed and sick and until there are none left and hopefully by then you've been rescued. When you're in a survival situation, you do whatever you need to to survive. And for the vast majority of human evolution, we've been in a survival situation. We had to do what we needed to to survive. Now, if that means catching small animals for meat, that is what we did because meat does have incredible survival value. Just like the Twinkie, very high in calories, very high in fat. So from a survival perspective, if you can get your hands on meat, it's a good thing to do. It will keep you alive. Now, the difference is we're no longer in a survival situation. For the first time in human history, our survival is pretty much guaranteed if you live in the Western world. We know there's always going to be more food delivered every single day to your local grocery store. So we don't actually have to worry about where our next meal is coming from. This is a novelty in terms of not just human beings, but animals in general. We're the first animal to really figure this out. So we've moved beyond survival and now we can ask ourselves questions like, what is the optimal diet for human beings? Now that's a very different question. This is a question of what promotes optimal human health? Twinkies certainly aren't the answer. We know that, right? You and I can agree on that. What about meat? Well, the research is actually pretty clear that the more meat dairy and eggs that is in your diet, the more likely you are to develop a chronic disease sometime in your life, be it obesity, diabetes, heart disease, cancer, stroke, or Alzheimer's, all have been linked in some way to increases in animal product consumption. Now, the reverse is also true. The more whole plant foods that you eat, things like fruits, vegetables, whole grains, beans, nuts, and seeds, the more likely you are to live a long and disease-free life. Now, doesn't that tell us what we should be eating? Doesn't that sort of give us our answer? There's a difference between what you need to eat to survive and what you should eat to thrive. The reality is that human beings are not designed to eat meat. We have no physiological adaptation to meat eating. That surprises a lot of people and they always point to their teeth and say, hey, but what about these canines? And the reality is our canine teeth have nothing to do with fangs that real meat eating animals have. We don't rip apart raw flesh. <laughs> Uh, our teeth and our jaw structure resembles that identical or identically to a frugivore, uh, which is an herbivore that eats primarily fruit. So we have no adaptation to eating meat and we are not designed to eat meat. And we only did it because it was important for us when it came to survival. You're no longer stranded on an island, so to speak. You're no longer living out in the jungle or in the savannas. You live in a home, a comfortable, heated, climate-controlled home with a grocery store a couple blocks away. Eating meat is now a choice, and it is a choice that is detrimental to your personal health, to the health of the planet, and certainly to the health of the animals that you're eating. So consider this. Human beings are not meant to eat meat, and in doing so, you're hurting yourself, the planet, and the animals. So go vegan, challenge yourself. Go vegan for at least, you know, 
pick a day, you know, the next seven days, the next 30 days, however long you think you can manage to start. Just try it out and you'll notice a huge benefit in your health, I promise that. Let's move on into our thriving state, not just our survival state, but into our thriving state as a species and quit destroying the planet in the process, raising meat that we don't need to eat. Thanks for watching guys. I know it's kind of a, a, a controversial topic. People get really passionate about this, but the facts are there. Look them up for yourself and stay tuned next week. I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys.